But I believe there is a broad consensus that a final status agreement that could meet the needs of both sides would do the following. Principle number one, provide for secure and recognized international borders between Israel and a viable and contiguous Palestine negotiated based on the 1967 lines with mutually agreed equivalent swaps. Fulfill the vision of the UN General Assembly Resolution 181 of two states for two peoples, one Jewish and one Arab, with mutual recognition and full equal rights for all their respective citizens. Provide for a just, agreed, fair, and realistic solution to the Palestinian refugee issue with international assistance that includes compensation, options and assistance in finding permanent homes, acknowledgement of suffering, and other measures necessary for a comprehensive resolution consistent with two states for two peoples. Provide an agreed resolution for Jerusalem as the internationally recognized capital of the two states and protect and assure freedom of access to the holy sites consistent with the established status quo. Now, Jerusalem is the most sensitive issue for both sides, and the solution will have to meet the needs not only of the parties, but of all three monotheistic faiths. That is why the holy sites that are sacred to billions of people around the world must be protected and remain accessible, and the established status quo maintained. Satisfy Israel's security needs and bring a full end, ultimately, to the occupation, while ensuring that Israel can defend itself effectively and that Palestine can provide security for its people in a sovereign and non-militarized state. End the conflict and all outstanding claims, enabling normalized relations and enhanced regional security for all as envisaged by the Arab Peace Initiative. It is essential for both sides that the final status agreement resolves all the outstanding issues and finally brings closure to this conflict so that everyone can move ahead to a new era of peaceful coexistence and cooperation. Since the parties have not yet been able to resume talks, the U.S. and the Middle East Quartet have repeatedly called on both sides to independently demonstrate a genuine commitment to the two-state solution, not just with words, but with real actions and policies to create the conditions for meaningful negotiations.